what is it? What did the kids say? I'm shooting shots. I, I shouldn't say that when I'm talking about school. <laughs> Guys, it's your babe from Busan and we are here in Busan, South Korea and you are on my channel. This channel is all about my story time experiences here in Busan, some of my top five favorite things about Busan, as well as some Busan slang that you can use on your first visit to Busan, South Korea. So go ahead and subscribe to this channel and come follow your babe. We are going to be shooting a very special video today, some of my top five favorite things about teaching here in South Korea. So, let's get started without further ado. Number one. So number one on my list would have to be the program that I'm in. So I actually teach with the program EPIC. And EPIC is kind of a government joint program for English teachers to teach in public schools here in South Korea. In that program, not only have I been able to have a smooth transition from my life in America to my life in South Korea, but I've also been able to work in some of the best public schools, in my opinion, some of the best public schools here in South Korea. So in that program, there is a lot of criteria that you have to kind of check for you to be able to work in a public school here in South Korea. In that program, there are a lot of recruiters that help you with that information. And this program is one of the least biased, in my opinion, because, because they are looking for the best people for the job, so you don't have the certain prejudices that you may find if you try to find a job in education here yourself. So it's definitely number one on my list of best things I love about teaching here in South Korea. Number two list, the second thing I love about working here and teaching here in South Korea is that I teach at a public school. Honestly, hapwons or private schools can be very strict about how things should be taught, when they should be taught, and anyway, they're very strict on how they want things to be taught and in what way. Whereas in public schools, we have a lot more freedom and we have a lot of less stress. So students are stressed so much in this country. Their schedules are like 13 hours of studying sometimes and they leave from their public school to their private school. So when your school, when your child goes to a public school here, it's free, first of all, and the classes are more catered to everyone as a whole. Whereas when you go to a private school, the class is just focused on the means of success. And the means of success here in Korea are testing. So the English taught in Hawans in private schools are English terms that can be used to ace their tests. And that can be kind of restrictive on both the students as well as the teachers because you can't fully have communication if you're only learning grammar for a test. So in that aspect of it, I much prefer teaching at a public school than a private school. Number three. So that brings me to my next point, and my next point is that I love the environment. Yeah, when I was in America, I worked in a scholarship program that helped students from middle school to college to prepare for you know, higher education. And in doing so, I worked with a lot of people that were similar in my age and background. And it was kind of like a, no, it was definitely like a family. We were one big, fighting, loving family. And I was worried that once I moved halfway across the world that I would not be able to experience that kind of existence at work anymore. And while it is hard with the language barrier to get close to my coworkers, Koreans have a very family and group oriented mentality to where they always want to include you in something. And if you are here alone and you're feeling a little homesick or for me work sick, you definitely get to appreciate some of that with the coworkers that you have here. If you work in a program, say like Epic, you teach with a Korean teacher, another English speaking and English teaching teacher. So while they are in a sense Korean, it's a lot easier to communicate with them and you work together and you kind of go through the same struggles with a class or a student. So it's definitely a camaraderie here that I missed from back home that I'm so happy I can experience while teaching here in South Korea. Number four. I almost finished with this list. Number four on my list is the freedom. So I have a lot of freedom, not only here in South Korea, but being a teacher here in Korea. Not only do I have freedom to create my own lessons within parameters, but I also have the freedom of my personal time. So although there are a lot of 
underlying things that you have to do as a teacher, such as English camps, desk warming, after school activities, those sort of things. There is a lot of free time, especially after work. If you have a set career with a salary, you tend to have designated hours. In those designated hours, I do a lot of work. And I do so, so that when that work is over, I have freedom. And that has given me so much time to spend with my friend, or to grab an early lunch, or to spend time with my cat, and for other normal people, dating. For me, those are the things that I enjoy doing um, in my free time. And it gives me loads of time to make videos for you guys. So, that makes me so happy. Number five, the most amazing thing about working here in South Korea is that my students are the best. There, I said it. What I mean to say is that I love my students here. And that probably sounds super cheesy and cliche to people who are not teachers. But for people that are teachers, I'm sure that you can attest to feeling a similar experience. You know, we get stressed. We have a lot of personal problems. We have a lot of things to factor into our lives. But I don't know, our students kind of make it all better. They make us feel like it's all worth it even when they don't act like it sometimes and they give me a sense of strength. For me, I always found joy in teaching. Um, if it wasn't my little sister, then you know my students at my old job, if not those students and these students, if, if not these students and my future children. You know, I always want to spend my time teaching someone something that they can use to make their lives better. And these students are Korea's future. That's a lot of pressure <laughs> to put on someone's shoulders and I thrive under this sort of pressure. Teaching here is my career. There's no I'm going back home to do my real thing. There's no I'm running away from something. This is what I've spent my entire life preparing for and I knew it all the way back in high school that this is what I want to do. So. Being that this is my dream career, I can only say that I'm just so blessed and happy that I could actually achieve it in this lifetime. And no one knows what the future holds, but I'm so happy to call that best thing about teaching here in Busan, South Korea. So if you want to know anything more about the teaching experience, if you want to know how you can be a teacher or a student here in South Korea, feel free to leave a comment or DM me on Instagram. I would love to give you some help. And if you want to know some of my favorite things to do outside of the school in this country, then I'll be happy to make that video for you guys. So thank you so much for watching. I hope that you learned something, at least about me and about some of the benefits of teaching here in Korea. Anyway, thank you so much for you guys for watching this video. Leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe if you want to and thank you so much for following your bae. Bye!